treasure finders. I wasn't going to do a video today, but it turns out that I had a few things to say. So this is my second day at Honeymoon Island State Park, and I was going to go metal detecting today, which I did do. I'll show you a picture of my finds. I still haven't figured out how to film my metal detecting, and I really don't think that the videos are that interesting if I'm not finding anything cool. But I did find it, you know, a few a few things here and there, but it wasn't the best. And so I ended up going shelling again. And this video is going to be a little bit about mermaid money. What is it and where can I get some? So stay tuned. My second day on Honeymoon Island State Park, I did some metal detecting, as I mentioned first, and so I wasn't really first on the beach to collect all the good shells. And by the time I was done metal detecting, the tide was coming in and I was kind of getting tired. So I just thought I would wander a little bit. And I did find a few nice shells. I found this really beautiful olive here and a small olive, a couple pieces of sea glass, which aren't again very frosted so they'll probably get recycled this little teeny baby fighting conch and this little lovely horse conch rolled in right as i was getting ready to leave so that was kind of a neat send off for the day a little banded tulip a lightning whelk atlantic star snail little teeny chestnut turban pretty cool worm snail here of course, I grabbed one <laughs> chestnut turban. And here's another one of these uh, leafy jewel boxes, I think. Leafy or Atlantic jewel box, not sure. But what I really wanted to talk about today was is something I have in this little container. It's a little surprise. So what is the surprise? Ta-da! Here it is. This is the mermaid's money. I found so much mermaid money today. In addition to being called mermaid's money, these are also called 
Shiva eye shells, the, they're named after the Hindu god, and the shell represents the third eye. You can kind of see the little eye swirl there, kind of like a shark's eye. And these are considered good luck for travelers and for fishermen. So I'm not sure where the name mermaid money came from. I couldn't seem to find where that term came about, but that's just what some people refer to these as. And I love to collect them. They're so abundant on Honeymoon Island because of all the chestnut turbans. This is called the operculum for the chestnut turban. That's the more the technical name and it would fit right in there and it keeps the live animals safe from predators and, and whatnot. So because there's so many chestnut turbans on Honeymoon Island State Park, they're just everywhere. Uh, so are the operculums, they're everywhere. When you're looking on the beach, if you wanna find these, they're so much easier to find when they're upside down like that. They just pop right out of the sand. You kinda of have to fix your eyes a little bit. They're really hard to find when they're face up like that because they look like every other white little shell. But when they're upside down, and there's a lot of them, they're really kind of easy to focus in on. And I just found, I mean, this this probably took me, you know, 30 minutes to pick up all of these. And, and they're everywhere. They're not everywhere on the beach, but once you find a couple of them, I feel like you can find more. They're, they're seem, they seem to roll in together and I have no idea why. They must all like to stick together for some reason. But anyway, so that's the story of the mermaid money and the operculums of the chestnut turban. Thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel if you would be so kind and give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the beach somewhere.